so in there. The last day, three years. Good bye. Well, it's 12th of July, um, Tuesday, 7 o'clock. Car's getting loaded up, ready to go at the start of the epic 7,000 kilometre journey. Everything's been lubricated, ready to go. All we're awaiting now is the passenger and the driver. The odometer will be set at naught. One last look at the mountains, obscured by telegraph poles. Driver. Baggage. Expert packing here. This is a baggage readjustment situation. Uh, ongoing at this moment in time. Overload, overload. This is the morning of the first day on the road. Unfortunately, we suffered a major hiccup in the night. The car was stolen. Well, not really. There it is. Seven o'clock now. That was our bed for the night. We are now in Abu Dhabi. There's Clive looking at the inland sea. Bloody racket. About 200 kilometers to go to the Saudi border. Clive's bed. Our first breakfast on the road. What's this place called? <laughs> it's called anything, it's not. The Cornalis. Hotel Nile, oh, actually it's got a name. Okay. Like tomorrow, that's what he's doing next. You might put the telly on for the news. Emirates border post. You can see there's a lot of people with a lot of stuff on their roof. I think he'll get stopped at the Saudi border. That's next. Oh. The queue to get into the Emirates. We're in no man's land now. Getting 
very quick then. I in Hofuf in the eastern province of Saudi Arabia. Checking for the oil leak. Just Go filled up with petrol. Out. One pound a gallon? No. One pound a tank full. Videoing. <laughs> There's the Hofuf man. Four o'clock, Wednesday afternoon. First major upset. Clive's got oil on his head. Unfortunately, the oil pressure switch has sprung a leak, so we're losing a lot of oil. And the air filter that isn't working properly. Lots of sand's got into the carburetor. So, should be all set now to get through Saudi tonight. Over and out. Luxury campsite in the middle of the desert. Only 300 reals per night. Beautiful view. Every wreck in the kingdom of Saudi, including us too. Petrol. What's your name? Sam. Mohammed. Oh, Mohammed. Cheapest petrol on earth. Yeah. How much is it? Cam for loose. Let's see it. Cool. Let's stand by. Is that filming? Yeah. Oh, it's where I see. Oh, God. Hi, I'm Alan Partridge. Now, Michael, could you tell me about your groin strain? Yes. No, we're in RR, and the clock says 2,300 kilometres com completed. It's uh, four past three, 14th of July, Thursday afternoon. Thank you, Alan. And now uh, back to the studio. How's the groin strain? Oh, uh, yeah, the seminal war. Oh. Uh, yeah, three times this year it's been. Oh, no. Could affect the sperm count. Well, this is a big crossroads near the Iraqi border. Rope. Where are you going? I'm Syria. Syria. Yeah, and us. We're going to Syria as well. We're in right. Ara. Jordan then. Three hours? Couple of hours. hours. No. Couple of hours. Three hours. Okay. So the next film, three hours time. Jordan. Join us. 
us for beer. Sports Desk. Join yeah. us for a beer. Yeah. And now back to the studio. Thank you, Alan. Right. This is the press button thing, isn't it? No. Wednesday, 6 o'clock. Had to stop the car all of a sudden, overheating. Says our sports writer, Alan Partridge. Ah, well, hello there, Mike. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is it still going? Yeah. Fan belts yeah, knackered. Like, I'd like you to tell me about your groin strain. This is the Pipeline Road, middle of Saudi Arabia. Top of Saudi Arabia, near the Iraq. There's the pipe. Goes all the way from Daman to Jordan. The sun's setting now. We've got to limp up to that garage there in the distance. So we can't be bothered to fix it ourselves. Luckily we got spares. So I think we're just gonna sit here and have a cup of tea. So, nothing around for miles and miles. The Saudi desert. Going off to inspect the pipeline, just to make sure there's no leaks in that. Saudi pipeline. What does it do? It connects Jordan to Damar. We don't think there's anything in it. Do we, Alan? No there, Michael. <laughs> so there it is. Each section seems to be not bolted together. And as we go back to the car. And now back to the studio. First car. Should have called 7 o'clock Friday morning. It's where we slept last night. Somebody's <laughs> front car. Everything has to stop in Saudi on a Friday. So it's a windswept, cold Friday morning in the middle of the Nafu Desert. Over and out. Speak to you later. be absolutely right because after three days we are still, well I should say I am, still stuck here in Hazem. There's the bed again. <laughs> Seven o'clock in the morning. The papers have not arrived yet, nor has Clive. Yesterday I had to go to um, uh, Ara to get the head skim and Clive went to Jordan to get the cylinder head gasket. So three days we're still here. There's one of the mechanics, Mr. Sadiq. How are you today? Good? Good. Trying on. Notice the lights. <laughs> Sadiq from Bangladesh. This is Mr. Chai Waller. Let's have a look in his kitchen. Oi, get in your kitchen. 
<laughs> I don't know what's wrong with it. I wonder if they give us their cylinder against it. We've just come into Sadiq's garden. He's got grapes growing. Very good. Huh? Nice old vine. Good. The gardener. There's a uh, mint growing there. And figs. Would you believe it, eh? Olives. We're definitely getting near the Mediterranean. So, this has been our home for three days. Stuck here. Good, good. Thank you then. Back to Alan Partridge at the sports desk. Sports desk for topless dar darts at Roehampton. Bye bye. Yeah, no. Managed to get away. Uh, any news on your groin strain? Car's been fixed. The groin strain's been rectified with liquid steel. We're near the Jordanian border now, aren't we? Yeah. There's the main road. One of the border forts. Jordan. There's a solar powered telephone. Let's have a look at that road. It's really impressive that road going up, isn't it? 